ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. That is how the Christian life is. It's very simple. Continue in Christ in the same way you received him. It's as simple as that. So if in your Christian practice, you are living your life contrary to the way you received Christ, then you are not walking the Christian life. Now let's look at verse 2 of Galatians 3. It says, This only will I learn of you, receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith. The question here is, how did you receive the Spirit, the Holy Spirit? You know, Paul tells us that if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. If you don't have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, you don't belong to Jesus. And so the question is, how did you receive the Holy Spirit? And there are two options. By the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. A, the works of the law. B, the hearing of faith. The works of the law speaks of man's attempt to please God in his own strength. The works of the Lord speaks of human performance, human self-effort. You say, well, does it mean that I should not exert effort or efforts in the things I do? Does it mean that as a human being I should not perform? It doesn't mean that at all. But what it does mean is that <laughs> you don't depend on yourself for anything. Yes, you exert effort or efforts in the things you do. Yes, you perform in the things you do or in life. But in your exerting effort, in your performance, you are not looking to yourself for the result. Now, I've said this time without number you don't look to yourself for the result you look to God for the result amen let me give you an example of the first display of human effort in scriptures Adam in Genesis 3 had fallen by eating of the fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We are told that immediately he ate the eyes of himself and his wife were opened and then they realized that they were naked. Were they naked from the beginning? Physically, yes, they were naked. But spiritually, they were not. Romans 3 tells us to all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We believe from scriptures that Adam wore the glory of God. But when he fell, he lost that glory and he realized that he was naked, he was helpless, he was ashamed of himself. So what did he do? He looked for fig leaves, human effort. Instead of going to God for help, he looked for fig leaves. And used to cover his nakedness and that of his wife. But it was not adequate. And God said, this is not the answer. So God came, took a goat, and skinned the goat. And wore him, used the skin of the goat to make a dress, and wore him and his wife with the skin of the goat. And so that is the beginning of sacrifices 
on the earth. So God was showing to Adam that listen, the Messiah is going to come that will shed his blood for you. So Adam walked in his own human effort trying to help himself to cover his own nakedness and God said to him, that is not the answer. The answer is found in the coming Messiah. The Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Listen, human effort or the works of the Lord is every attained by you to help yourself by yourself without any reference to God, without dependence on God. How did you receive the Spirit? How did I receive the Holy Spirit? What did I do? Nothing. I believed in Jesus and the Holy Spirit came into me. Simple. I didn't fast. I didn't, I didn't do anything. I just believed in Jesus and I had the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And God bore witness to that fact. After a while, I've been a Christian. I was around 14 years at this time or so. A friend of mine, I was in class two. A friend of mine who was going to CGM, a former branch, Felix, he spoke in tongues. And I was, I was fascinated. And he told us that they, he had been prayed for in his church, CGM, a former branch. I began to desire it. At that time, I was in a Ladura church, a white garment church. But when Felix spoke in tongues, just briefly, for some seconds, I became desirous that I was in the wrong place. In a white garment church, nobody to pray for me, but the desire was strong. I was in afternoon school at that time. So in the evening, walking back home from school, at that is that spot where Uye Technica is at Mission Road. I was walking on the street. I began to speak in tongues. Nobody prayed for me. I didn't do any vigorous prayers that I had to pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. All I knew I had was a strong desire for it on the street. My mouth opened. I found myself speaking in tongues on the street of Benin Mission Road. That is an evidence that the Holy Spirit dwells in me. How did I receive the Holy Spirit? How did I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit also? Those two experiences came by faith in Jesus. Hallelujah. So, how did you receive the Holy Spirit? Is it by the works of the law, human performance, or by the hearing of faith? The hearing of faith is believing the message you have heard. That is the hearing of faith. The hearing of faith. You believe the message you have heard. I believed in the message of Jesus. I was saved by the Holy Spirit and it came to dwell in me. I heard a friend pray in tongues when I was about 14 years of age or thereabout and he told me about it. I believed in the scriptures even though I had nobody to lead me in the baptism of the Holy Spirit at that time. But because I believed, I received it freely at no cost. Amen. And so the point the Apostle Paul was making here was that the Galatian Christians, they received the Holy Spirit because they believed in the message of the gospel that they heard. And that is how every believer received the Holy Spirit by believing in the message of the gospel of Jesus. Every believer in Christ has the Holy Spirit. All of them may not speak in tongues, but every believer in Christ has the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord Jesus.